I think it's a very popular question, but uh, most students, they couldn't get the full mark for this question. Okay, so I'm going to explain it to you. Why do frogs lay many eggs at a time? Okay, guys, uh, if you look at different animals, right, okay, uh, they, they lay, um, some, you know, some uh, animals, they lay more eggs, some animals, they lay less eggs. And if you look at mammals like us, right, you know, some, some mammals will give birth to more young alive, and some mammals will give birth to less young alive. You know, what's the, um, what's the reason behind it? Okay, like, for example, if you, if you look at us, okay, mammal, okay, so uh, we are human beings, we usually, um, uh, a human being only give birth to one child. I know they are twins and they are triplets, but uh, most of the case is only one child. Okay, so one baby. So why is it only one? Whereas uh, you know some some other animals they lay more eggs and they they can give birth to more youngs. That that has got to do with the the chance of survival. For example, we human beings, right? Okay, we are at the top of the food chain. Okay, because we eat a lot of animals, but no animals will eat us, lah. Okay, in a normal case, so, so our ch the chance of our offspring, right, uh, to grow up into an adult to reproduce is very high. So, uh, for human beings, right, being at the top of the food chain, we do not need to uh, give birth to uh, many offspring. We just need to give birth to one because it has a very high chance of survival. Whereas for this frog, right, you know, frog, um. Uh, there are a lot of predators that uh, that will eat the frog, so the, the the chance of them surviving is definitely much lower than that of a human being. So what do they need to do in in order to to ensure the the continuity of its kind to make sure that they do not go into extinction? They have to lay many eggs. So when they lay many eggs, right? Okay, you know some eggs will be eaten, some eggs might not survive. That, but then you know there will be some eggs that can survive. Okay, so that is their that is their way to ensure that uh the is kind right like the the frog population will not go into extinction. Okay, so uh how do we put that in words, right? Okay, we can we have to say that you know the first thing is that is to increase the changes of the eggs. Uh, hatching into youngs and developing into adults to reproduce. Guys, uh, a lot of people will just say, you know, to increase the chance of survival. Okay, but not good enough. You have to talk about if it's egg, right? Okay, basically you have to you have to describe what happens after the egg. It becomes a young, and from the young, you have to go on to an adult. And then after that, the keyword is reproduce. Okay, because only after it reproduces, uh, it can ensure the continuity of its kind. Okay, so uh, let me highlight the keywords for you. You have to talk about increase the chance of what? Not just survival. Uh, okay, so you describe. If they are talking about the egg, then you describe starting from the egg. What will happen to the egg? The egg will hatch into young and uh, they need to reproduce, right? So from the young, they have to develop into adults. Then after that, you can reach the end goal, reproduce. Right? Then after that, you have to end off with another, another uh, statement, which is this. This will ensure the continuity of its kind. 